couple of sales come in overnight. This puppet company pack is gone for 15. And then check out these patent pink Doc Martens UK size 3. They've gone for just under 40 plus post. Global shipping too. eBay sales have been hot. The truth is I'm on the Christmas wind down. I only do this part time. Selling on eBay, making some money. It's just a fun side hustle. I'm not reliant on the money. And this time of year is so busy. My full time job is hectic trying to close everything up for Christmas. And obviously we've got the Christmas run in here. So if I'm honest, eBay is taking a bit of a back seat. Listing is low, sales are still ticking over, but I'm not putting in too much effort into it. Plan is I'm gonna be closing my eBay shop this weekend and just having a nice break over Christmas. But a bit of time off, that bit of downtime is worth more than what any money eBay is gonna bring in for me. Post is dropped off. Today I added my head that it would be a Christmas shopping day. But then my friend Marcus messaged me last night about a really cool Facebook marketplace pickup. Things that are perfect for my collection. So I'm picking that up at 12 o'clock, slap bang right in the middle of the day. There's not much point going into the middle of Cardiff just for an hour. So we might as well go to a few charity shops, see what we can see. Next week though, I definitely do have to do that Christmas shopping. So this will probably be my last video before Christmas. If you have been enjoying the videos recently, don't forget, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Let's see what we can find. Look at these poor ducks just cast into the toy basket. These ducks are by a brand called Schilling. 2010. They do really good tin plate toys. This one's still got the key in it, which is great. 2010, it's not particularly old really in the grand scheme of things. And in the box, people are looking for about 25 quid for these. Unboxed, you can look at about a 10 plus post. In a 50p box, that's worth picking up. Not found the Transformer out for ages. Check this Bumblebee out. Two quid. Old school Volkswagen Beetle. Sold our seed. Just having a quick spin round. You can see that back panel is missing off of that side. The bonnet will drop down over his head. So that's okay. Oh, it looks near complete apart from that back panel. We'll leave him. I quite like the look of those down there. A pair of Vans checkerboard slip ons. Pretty good condition. You often see that logo on the back rubbed off. UK size 6 for a fiver just one check over the condition but they look pretty good solds 10 12 plus post something like that nice little doublet check this jigsaw out 104 piece of Pocahontas got a nice bit of age to it and people have got this listed up 10 to 15 pound 50. One sold though, there's only one sold and you'd expect this is the busiest time of year for this type of thing. Let's stick it back. I'll tell you what, this is testing my Thomas the Tank knowledge. Two pound a train. Lots of take play ones with the magnets, usually what I do with those is just bundle them up. But some of them individually can do okay. Luke in the middle there, six plus post on a good day, something like that. Charlie at the back over there. See that blue tender in the middle there? That belongs to a train called Connor. That wouldn't be a bad shout, but I can't see Connor in there. A bit more down here too. Hello. My sister tells you you had a fantastic range of Christmas jumpers, but obviously not. <laughs> Freddy on the side there. Yeah, yeah, I've just been looking up them. See Hero at the back there, that's Brio. If that had the tender on the back of him, tender plus post. Honestly though, your hard sell to push these individually. It's all about condition. And these just look a bit too well played. Look at that under there. Neil Gaiman, Coraline. Coraline, anything is worth looking out for. Funkos, dolls, whatever. It's really, really collectible. Five quid for the book though. If it was a pound, I'd buy that and give it a flick through. Pre-owned prices for that book is about a fiver on eBay. So we'll leave that. There's another one here too, what's this? Stardust. Not heard of that one before. Five or two. I foolishly nearly walked out the shop without looking in that toy box, because look what's on the top. Star Wars lightsaber. Build-A-Bear. Stuff in that box usually about 50p. 
sold on this. About a tenner all in. That's the type of thing that would go missing from your Darth Vader builder there, so people will always be looking for spares. Never overlook your toy boxes. Look at this toy box here. Full of old cars and trucks. Major at limo. What's this down here? That's a Terminator. 1992 Carol Co. What does that do? Like his face flips down to reveal his metal skeleton. It looks like there should be a missile in there. That's cool, isn't it? What's that as a gladiator? Laser. I don't remember laser. Which from America and gladiators. 1991. Yep, get him. I feel like I should know who that is. On the bottom, 1997 Hasbro and Takara. That's Transformers, that is. And he's got a little heat thing on his front. Buying that for the research. Very cool. Rogue little monster in my pocket. Remember these? Used to get them in cereal. And another gladiator's legs popping out there, is that? That's the wolf. I'm sure I got the wolf already. I oh, might not have, I'll we'll buy him anyway. 50p, just in case I haven't got it. Batmobile, absolutely battered. Surtle from 1989. That'd be going up on the shelf. Look. Another monster from my pocket. Those two there, they've literally picked this up. Had a look at it and put it back down. It's Link Sword off of Zelda for £2.50. Condition, considering it's a kiddie's toy that's meant to be smacked about, it's pretty good. Not too bad really, is it? £2.50, we're getting that. A couple of rescue bots peeping out from in there too. That's Optimus. Transforms well. And this is Boulder. Pound fifty. This one, this one used to sell all right on its own. Don't know if it still does. For a pound fifty each, it'll bundle together well anyway. Another one in there too. Pickup truck. And fold them down. There he is. We'll take a little break from the charity shops because I'm here to pick up this Facebook Marketplace bundle. Now this listing had been up for 50 minutes. I messaged, it was still available. Bit of back and forward with the buyer, but I agreed to collect. And the collection point was up in Triorki, which is about an hour away from Cardiff. It's the other side of Connor to me. So at the end of the conversation, I sent a message to say, I'll let you know when I'm leaving Cardiff. She then messaged back and said, oh, you're in Cardiff, are you? My husband's working there tomorrow. So if it's easier, he can meet you there. It is definitely easier. So I'm sat on the side of a road in this industrial estate, waiting for him to come out. I'm well excited for this one. Beast Wars, Transformers, and I got 15 of them here. All of these are from the late 90s and we got a right mix here. Some smaller ones at the front there, some larger all plastic figures, and then my favorite at the back there, the trans metals. Now, to be honest with you, I wasn't really into Beast Wars when I was growing up. They've never really been on my radar, but I picked up a nice bundle off of eBay and now I'm absolutely hooked. Now, I bought all of these to go into my collection, but naturally, when you buy a bundle like this, there will be some which you've already got. Some of them, unfortunately, are incomplete or broken. This rat trap looks like a Damien Hirst project. Optimal Prime looking like a beast there. Missing the little flap down the bottom there, though. And I've already got this Megatron T-Rex. My plans for the broken ones are ones I've already got. This squid's a good example. I'm going to sell them on eBay, either as parts or as complete figures. But I can tell you now, I need all of these transmetals. These are great. Now, all in all, I paid £145 for this bundle. But Tiger Hawk at the back there, even in this yellowed condition, he's worth 50 to 70. He's got his original missiles. Tarantulas in the middle here, that's a 50 pound transformer. That manta ray there with our shark gun there, that's a 30 pound transformer. The value quickly adds up. Shiny. But this one here, Predacon Megatron. This is by far my favorite. It's a 70 pound transformer, but it looks as if he's ripped the Welsh dragon straight off the flag. 
flame wings folded in on the back with this gold tail forming this mane. It's almost like a symbol of defiance against the Welsh nation. But I absolutely love him. And how random is this, right? The guy was taking a ton of DVDs down to the charity shop, asked if I wanted them. So I got a bag full of free DVDs. There's a couple of Xbox 360 games in there. Let's take them in CEX. So here's what I got. I got Space Hulk Tactics for Xbox One. I got that for free from the trade-ins. And I'll be sending that to OG Duffy. He's been looking for this for ages, but it hasn't come up in his local CEX. Nice little Christmas present for him. And I've been looking for this for my collection for ages, Vagrant Story. The box is in excellent condition. And look how crisp that manual is as well. Really happy with that one. The ones I've seen in CX before, the condition just hasn't been there. So I had to get that. Charity shops, round two. <laughs> look at that on there. That's the South Park cow, isn't it? South Park on the tags. I've come across South Park teddies before, but never found a cow. Hooves are peeling away a bit. That's very cool. Are these still a thing? Hey, Jigsaws. 2,000 pieces. One, two, three, four, five of them. That's the 1,500. £3.50 each. The solds on these are all over the place. Some go for like a fiver plus post. Others a heck of a lot more. I'm gonna look up a few sold listings before I commit to these because they're gonna take a fair bit of space up. I'm gonna look up some sold listings. Don't worry, I've not missed that either. Cards Against Humanity. Pound. Absurd box. Never actually found Cards Against Humanity out in the wild. So I'll pick that up. So I've looked all of them up. When they sell, they go for about eight or nine quid plus post is pre owned. If these were brand new, Yes, definitely worth picking up. But second hand for £3.50 each, they won't be checked either. I'm going to leave them. There's a crossover I thought I'd never see. Rupert and Snoopy versus the Red Baron. Jeez. Not only 50p. Maybe Poppins. I'm thinking bundle deal. They're only 50p and they... Ah, I'll leave them. That demand doesn't look like it's there. I'm honestly giving these dolls a fair chance. I've picked up a couple of Zap Creation ones. They've not sold yet, granted. This one's from 2002 Tiny Tears. I don't know if they're official clothes I ever could be hand knitted. But for two quid? I mean, it's got to be worth more than that, isn't it? Let's pop in the shop and have a look at that book there. Terry Pratchett. The Last Hero. First edition, tenner plus post. If it's got his autograph in there, 100 quid. Let's have a look. Should I do that? Was that first edition? First published in Great Britain 2001. Copyright 2001. 2001. No idea. No idea. But for six quid anyway. Not enough profit. How about this for four quid? Casio SA2 keyboard. Not the most elaborate keyboard in the world, hasn't got the most functions on it, but the last one of these boxed went for about 25 quid. Look at that on the top shelf there. There's a full set of the secret book of the around the world with the gnomes. Reduced down to 20. That sold anywhere up to about 60 quid online. People sell 1 to 25 for about 20 plus post. Thank you. I was gearing up to tell you that I'm not going to bother getting it. I'm thinking about storage space, I'm thinking about ease of postage. Let's be honest, it's not that hard, is it? I'll have a closer look at sell through rate. I want to see how many are listed and then how many are sold. Make a decision based on that. That's the penguin of happy feet there. Craig was 20. Now we're used to three. Looks like you can put batteries in him and he dances. Bit of yellowing on the tag there. Solds look about 20 quid all in on a good day. Three quid, that's worth a pant, isn't it? I've sold one of these before. It was ages ago. It's a rumpus cat, it's pretty old. The tag is faded on it. Four quid. This is all about the little accessories it comes with. So we've got a little fish. 
Yeah, there's the tag there, Rumpus 1999. But it looks like that's the only accessory it comes with. It's a bit disturbing, isn't it, that? So we'll leave him there. And then down here we got the Teletubbies Hoover. All complete. This sells for about 20 quid plus post. We've just got all the Teletubbies on the side there. Priced up at 20 quid there. Straight back on the shelf. Yeah, picked them up. Sell through rate is pretty good. They are really heavy though, so I gotta decide do I sell them all as one or split them in two halves? By the way, there's a bit of profit in there. Here's what's sold on eBay Thursday and Friday. Builder bears, right? They are total hit or miss, aren't they? Sometimes you can find them and they are worth an absolute bomb. Other times they're just not even worth picking up. I sold a Builder bear sheep like this at Easter time for about 15 plus posts. I bought a second one because the first one shifted pretty quick. Had no interest. It's taken until now, Christmas time, for it to move. That sold for £14.50 plus post. Squish mallows. These again, very hit or miss, and I need to be a lot more picky in the ones I get. I bought this one for 50p when I was up with Connor. This flamingo, tenor all in. Leapfrog, a brand I always look out for, and I always check sold listings whenever I see the Leapfrog logo. This Leapfrog tablet with the charger, that's gone for £18.50 plus post. It has hung around a bit because the condition is terrible. It's all scratched on the screen there. I've plugged it in, tested and working, the condition hasn't really hampered the price, it's just affected how long it's taken to sell. This was a little beauty, and I've had a fair bit of interest in this. This is a Man o War t-shirt. It's from the Battle Hymns Tour from 2011. I picked this up in Porth Core for three, four quid, something like that. This is going global shipping over to Italy, sold it for £35 all in. It's no secret that out-of-date ink sells. This is an HP value pack, it's got photo paper in, it's got an ink cartridge. Expired April 2008, so that is old. Paid a pound at the boot sale for that one, £12.50 plus posters sold for. Took a gamble on this in the charity shop. It's brand new and sealed Playmobil Ghostbusters. This is Stan's, I paid four quid for it. It felt a bit pricey at the time, but there were a couple of sold listings that gave me a bit of hope. I priced them to match the highest sold listing. It sold, 15 quid all in. Another item I need to be a bit more picky with, and that is Jurassic World Dinosaurs. Some of the more popular dinosaurs, they can sell quick and sell for a lot of money. I feel a bit sorry for this Stegosaurus, it's hung around for ages. Basically, it's not interactive enough. It wiggles around a bit, but doesn't make any sounds. That's gone for £7 plus post. Pair of pink Crocs, got a couple of stickers on there. Would have paid a couple of quid for those, £7.50 plus post. I completely forgot that I had this. Looking at it now, I can see exactly why I picked this up. It's an old school Tomy pinball game. It's got the old school Tomy logo there. The box is in reasonable condition. To the right person, that's gonna be really nostalgic. And I priced it quite high for that reason as well. You don't see many of these about. This has been listed on the store for absolutely ages. But I'm guessing someone's looking for a last minute Christmas present. That's gone for 19 pound 50 plus post. Global shipping too. Leapfrog, leap pad. In here, I've got the Leap Pad Plus right in. It's one of those systems which you put the book in, write the pen over the top, and it will read the words out as you scroll over the top. I've bundled in eight little cartridges, and then in this bag here, I've got the eight books. That as a bundle of pad, cartridges, books, and bags, that's gone for 25 quid all in. Paw Patrol Builder Bears, another hit or miss item. This is one of the mid-range ones. This is Tracker, without any accessories, missing this little tag on there. Tracker's gone for a 10 plus post. I do need to have a sort out of the Jelly Cat collection over Christmas time. This one I picked up at the local school boot sale. Didn't actually ever make it into the collection. Stuck it up on eBay. It's gone for just over a 10 or all in. And at that school boot sale, I found the nice Nintendo 3DS in a little case. And in that case were some individual games. Most of them weren't really worth selling on their own. But this one was. This is Snoopy for the 3DS. Cartridge only, six quid all in. Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy. This sticker is really, really clean. No scratches on it. The cartridge itself, really good condition. That's gone for just under 13 pounds all in. Happy with that price, considering you can buy that in CEX for about a tenner. And to wrap up the sales, three more to show you. A Kylo Ren voice changer mask. I paid six quid for this one in the charity shop. Full of battery acid, had to clean it all out. It's got the hood on it. It does look battle damaged, but that's the way it's meant to come. I mean, that dent's meant to be there. There's a dent down there. I don't know about all the other scratches. 
But to be honest, it just adds to the look anyway. This is going global shipping to Italy, £30 all in. This is cool. This is from the Pokemon Center. It's like a key ring, hangy up type thing. This is ditto. That's gone for £20 all in. And the final set, I've got this blue tag Adidas jumper. Looks pretty retro, doesn't it? Nice Adidas logo in the center there. Paid a couple of quid at the charity shop. This has taken forever to sell. I mean, forever. What I'm gathering from other YouTube videos is retro or vintage clothing like this is probably better to be selling on other platforms. I only use eBay. That one sold for 20 quid all in for me. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and hit that subscribe button. It just helps the channel grow. Thank you for all your support throughout the year. I hope you, your friends and your family have a fantastic Christmas. Have a good one. We'll catch up next year.